What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle. This is one of my favorites and it's sort of similar to the four fours challenge. This is called the three threes challenge. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make numbers one through nine using three threes and any of the operators below, which is plus, minus, times, divide, factorial, that's the exclamation mark, which is kind of like I call it the multiplication countdown, right? Three factorial is three times two times one. Two factorial would be two times one, etc. cetera. Uh, square root and parentheses. So those are your tools. And with those tools and three threes, you're supposed to come up with numbers one through nine. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so as I give the answers or my answers, I wanna make it clear that there's actually multiple solutions for all of these. So I'm just gonna give you what I've come up with or kind of what pops into my head first when I'm trying to solve this puzzle. But it's a really fun one and, and a lot of creativity I think can go into the solution. First, I'm gonna start with the one that I perceive the easiest, meaning the one where the, the solution just kind of pops in my head and, and, and that's nine. So nine is quite straightforward because I can just do three plus three plus three and that gives me my solution for nine. Next I'm gonna go to three. Three also seems fairly straightforward. I'm gonna go to three plus three minus three, okay? And that gives me six minus three is back to three, so we're good to go. Next I'm gonna go to six and with six what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go three times three, which is nine minus three, and now we're back down to six. Next I'm gonna go to two which is three plus three. Now that's six. Now what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna place parentheses around this to prioritize it in terms of order of operations. We do this first and then we divide by three because this gives me six divided by three, which is indeed two. Next, I'm gonna do one and I'm going to first use my square root operator. So I'm gonna say square root of three times three. Okay, so three times three is nine, square root of that is three. Then what I'm going to do, I don't necessarily need these parentheses, but I'm going to put them in there anyways, just out of caution, to make sure it's clear what I'm doing. So I'm taking that square root and then I'm dividing that answer by three. So that is three times three, which is nine square root of that is three divided by three is one. Next, I'm going to tackle four and this is going to be the first time where we use the factorial operator. So first, I'm going to take three factorial. Now, what is three factorial? Again, I mentioned three factorial is three times two times one. It's a countdown that goes down to one. It's all multiplication. So three times two times one is actually six. Then I'm going to add that again to three factorial. So that's six plus six, which is 12. Now I'm gonna take that 12, I'm gonna put it in parentheses again, so we know we're gonna do the addition before anything else, and then we're gonna divide by three. So this becomes six plus six, which is 12 divided by three, which is four. Next, I'm gonna to come to five and I'm gonna again start with three factorial, which is six. And all I need to do is subtract one to get to five. So I'm gonna subtract, but in parentheses. Not that I need to put them because order of operations dictates that I do the division first regardless before the subtraction. But I'm gonna do it anyways, just to make it clear. Three divided by three. So now we see that we do this, that's three divided by three is one, and we already know that six, six minus one gives us five. Next we come to seven, it's very similar to five, right? It's one away from six. So I'm gonna start again with my three factorial, and that again, we remember that gives us six, and then we're gonna add, just like we kind of subtracted here, instead I'm gonna add three divided by three which is one, so that six plus one gives us seven. Now we come to eight, so again here, I'm gonna use that factorial, I'm gonna start us off at six, right? Three factorial is six. All I need to do is add two. So the way that I'm gonna get a two, and again, I'm gonna use parentheses, just out of caution, and I get a three factorial, which is six, divided by three. So what happens here, again, do I need these parentheses? No, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just to make it clear what I'm doing. And I know I'm doing this first. So this is six divided by three gives us two. Then I add it to that three factorial, which again has a value of six. So that's six plus two gives me eight. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.